In this video, we're going to see how to evaluate functions, getting us used to the new function notation. And we have two situations, one where we're given the input and one where we're given the output, right? I mean, these are equations of two variables, and so you really only have those two scenarios. In the first example, we were given a radical function equation and we're asked to find f parentheses negative 2, which is read f of 2. So when the number inside the parentheses is given, that's an input value. Remember, the number inside parentheses is x, your input. So the input is the negative 2. That means we can replace x with negative 2 in the equation. So let's go to that function equation, replace x with negative 2. Right, and in this case, we want to know what f of negative 2 is. So we just need to simplify the right-hand side of that. We got 2 minus negative 2, which is 4. Square root of 4, which is 2. And 2 plus 5, which is 7. So what we find out is that when x equals negative 2, the function is equal to 7. That's the output or the y value. At the end of the day we write f of negative 2 equals 7. Well, we can be given the problem written another way, and that is here we have a linear equation, linear function equation, and we're said for what values of x is f of x equal to 12? So in this case we are given the output. Remember, f of x is the same as y, which is your output. So this is saying that the output is equal to 12. Since f of x is equal to 12, we can replace f of x with 12 in the equation. So just replace f of x with 12. And in this case, we have to solve the equation. So we know how to solve a linear equation. We're just going to Add 5 to both sides, and it'll be 12 plus 5 will give us 17. And then divide both sides by 2, and we'll get 17 divided by 2. All right, so at the end, we just want to write this out using the function notation and there it is and the input is 17 over 2 the output is 12 so f of 17 halves equals 12